Hello everyone, my name is Laziz Niyazov. I am Vice Rector for International Cooperation of Bukhara State Medical Institute, the best medical institute in Uzbekistan. We are on the first place among the 12 medical universities in Uzbekistan and among 120 universities we are on the fourth place. We are giving the opportunity to students becoming best doctor in the Uzbekistan and in the world. Hi, my name is Ayman Jalal. I'm studying here at Buhara State Medical University. I'm a fourth year student. I came from Kerala, India. Actually, I was in Ukraine for the first few years and I transferred to here because of some war and COVID issues in the Ukraine. Uh, I came to Buhara and actually when I came here, it was so happy to be here because it was so better than any other universities. They provided us safe accommodation and safe educational strategies. We were likely to follow a correct schedule for our classes and we were happy with it. Uh, and the city was so beautiful the Bukhara city was so beautiful it's more than we expected the people here are so helpful they helped us a lot like we struggled because of war uh, after coming here we had a happy and also a safe secured uh, environment here the teachers and the staff were also so helping for our uh, academics for our clinicals also uh, here so there are so many hospitals so many clinical practices we have we can go on for uh, hospitals on our own and also our teachers will help us so much to interact with the patients. The curriculum and the academic process is also so good here. We can interact with the Dean Office. Uh, we can go and complain anything. They will solve the issues as soon as they possible. Hello guys, it's Dr. Tarun Pradeep Gangode from Nashik, Maharashtra and uh, I have studied uh, MBBS from Bukhara State University, uh, Bukhara, Uzbekistan. Uh, I am here for five years and I have studied since first year till fifth year MBBS course and uh, today I would like to share some things about our uh, academic courses. In our acad academic courses, it's almost similar to India. We have same practical courses, we have same theoretical courses and uh, we have same exam pattern also. The, usually the classes starts at 8.30 in the morning, it ends around till 5 in the uh, evening and the pattern of subjects taught are same like India, like preclinical, clinical uh, and preclinical, paraclinical and clinical subjects. They have also built technology, they have also introduced great use of technology and uh, simulation modules and models which help, which really help us in our clinical subjects. And the other thing what I would like to say is uh, we have in exam we have both pattern like written and MCQ uh, which is very helpful in competitive exams or entrance exams which we give after completing our course like for example FMG or NEET PG or INICT we uh, really get very well trained in MCQ exam here because after every subject we have to give both written uh, OSCE and uh, MCQ exam also. Hi, so my name is Reem Makbul Punekar and uh, I have been studying here since the past five years. I started studying here in the first year and currently I have graduated from this institute. I am talking about Bukhara State Medical Institute which is in Uzbekistan. For students who uh, want to pursue their career outside uh, India or who are looking for abroad options of studying a medical uh, profession, this is one of the good options because uh, as many students are concerned, this, is, this institute is MCI recognized and the studies that you do here quite similar to what you do in India all the, the courses of six years um, you have all the preclinical paraclinical subjects as well as clinical subjects taken uh, just the way it is done in India the numbers of hours is completed and uh, the teachers here uh, do uh, teach us in English language and uh, the grading system is a little bit different but it still goes smooth and talking about practical approach, we have mannequins and we have models and dummies to practice on. We have live experiences where we go to the hospitals and wards and talk to patients and where we can actually relate and talk to the patients and learn the clinical subjects. So we have separate hostels for both boys and girls and there are uh, all the necessary facilities are provided like uh, your washrooms and uh, kitchen and everything is there for you that you can utilize for yourself. 
Hi, this is Bilkisa Akhtar. I'm from Jammu and Kashmir. Currently, I'm studying pursuing my MBBS from Bukhara State Medical University. So, if I will talk uh, about the clinical exposure and studies over here, it's well good. Also, hostels are uh, so uh, nice over here. Like, uh, we have girls hostel, separate girls hostel and the boys hostel. And also, we have clinical exposure over here. Right now, I'm in fourth year uh, and we have our whole clinical uh, studies is going on over here. So, like, uh, we have uh, our clinical practices for dermatology. We have separate dermatology hospital. We are going there. We are uh, getting the clinical exposure over there. We are seeing patients. And also, uh, for uh, endo now, uh, we have endocrinology department. Endocrinology classes are going on for us for medicine. So also over here after studying the topics we are going to endocrinology department and we are seeing patients we are getting a lot of clinical exposure over here so well i can say you you must choose this uh, bukhara state medical university it's so good everything is good over here in, in fact uh, it's the muslim country i will say especially for the muslim girls they can come over here there is uh, like nothing uh, no hesitation is over here so I will I will tell to all the students who, are, who want to uh, who want to continue or want to do MBBS abroad. They can come and they can choose uh, Uzbekistan, especially BSMI, because uh, you have a lot of opportunities over here. So I will uh, tell to everyone to choose this BSMI. Well, hi, my name is Usama Farad Khan. I am basically from Pakistan and I am a student of Bukhara State Medical University. Currently, I'm studying in the fourth course, second semester. Well, let me tell you something about the features and the amenities which are being provided in Bukhara State Medical Inst University. So, if we talk about the university, first of all, we are being acknowledged with um, different kind of practical as well as theoretical exposure. And here, where I'm standing, just beside me you can see that we have a simulation center which itself it's educated place and it's more developed and tech, full of technology if you go inside we have a hologram system which is basically conducted for the theoretical exposures in order to specify the specimen and also to have a theoretical approach apart from this we have been provided some um, experience and sophisticated teachers which are basically providing us you know medical knowledge from not only within which within the exposure of Uzbekistan but also from worldwide I am Ubashra Momin from the student of Bukhara State Medical Institute so I would like to speak about my hostel so we are provided with two bunk beds like four students can live in one room easily and then we have cupboards for each student one part of cupboard is enough and then we have uh, bookshelves we have study tables also we have some other tables provided by the university to keep our things to keep our bottles mugs and everything to keep our accessories and we are provided with a bathroom and a washroom and uh, two wash basins also then in winter we get uh, hot water in summer we get cold water like everything is very perfect in our hostel and we are provided with all the things which we need for our survival in the hostel i would say that this hostel is better than other like we talk about the hostel like this hostel is way more better than this so in our hostel they provide us with refrigerators with the wash basin with cupboards and with uh, two gas stoves also the exhaust fan we all can use all these things like they provide us with so much of facilities and then there are windows also so there is no smoke or nothing no problem at all while we cook we can do self cooking during our festivals we come here and cook our traditional dishes then here is the wash basin and daily morning the swipers and the cleaners they come and clean the kitchen we cook food in a tidy environment thrilled to have you here and look forward to witnessing your achievements and contributions. Thank you so much.